Welcome to Word War, the speech-enabled game for language learners. This game has been loaded with a set of animal cards. If I mouse over each card, I get a hint as to the pronunciation in the target language, which is in this case Mandarin Chinese. The goal of the game for the language learner is to use speech commands to match the images along the top row with their corresponding images along the bottom two rows. Let's watch as a student with one year of Mandarin experience performs this task. Nachi 把它放在第四个位置。拿起狮子,把它放在第三个位置。with more Mandarin experience, a user can speak fluently while the recognition, understanding, and even the visual feedback occur in real time. Every language learner has a slightly different opinion about what vocabulary is worthwhile. So we leave content creation up to the end user. This is a Web 2.0 interface where users can create categories of cards to be loaded into the game. Creating a new card is as simple as inputting the English, the Chinese characters, and a pronunciation hint. Or perhaps more efficiently, we can do a search through an online dictionary we have integrated directly into the site. Then it's just a matter of a few clicks and we've created a new vocabulary card. A Yahoo image search integrated directly into the website allows us to easily associate one or two images with each card. With these tools, it's easy to create entire decks of image-based cards and then load them up into our speech-enabled solitaire game. But why stop at solitaire? Harnessing the connectivity of the web, we can link language learners from across arbitrary distances. Let's watch as two players battle it out in a head-to-head -head game of Word War. 拿起腿,把它放在第一个位置。拿起老鼠,把它放在第一个位置。拿起羊,把它放在第二个位置。拿起手,把它放在第二个位置。拿起手,把它放在第二个位置。拿起手,把它放在第二个位置。拿起手,